I have a friend with me today. He doesn't want to stay. Hey guys, my name is Natalie. Whoops. My first outfit is all about winter whites and it is very neutral and very comfortable. It's also incredibly effortless and super chic. The reason that I like to dress in a lot of monochromatic outfits is because it is just so simple, especially if you stick to all black or all white neutrals, like if you go with all browns, you could just look really amazing. Like you have everything together without having to try too hard. Most importantly, without having to think too hard in the morning when you're getting ready for work or for school, or, and you can just easily put together an outfit just based on the color palette that you're drawn to. I'm going to start off with the sweater that I'm wearing in this outfit and this one is by a new brand from Montreal. They are called Valier. I believe that's how you say it and they focus on more luxurious staples. So what I mean by that is a lot of basics. This one is a sweatshirt that has a slight V. It has the logo right here at the bottom. It's very discreet. You don't have to see it if you want. You could tuck it into your pants or you can leave it out if you're wearing a pair of sweatpants and it has this really nice ribbon at the sides. It's not ribbon, but it's like a ribbed detailing, which makes the sweatshirt look a lot more luxurious. And inside, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a sweatshirt terry cloth material is just really nice and soft. And it says this one is made in the USA and I had got mine in a size small, so I didn't go oversized for this and I love the fit of it. For the pants, I went with the paper bag waist trend and it's trendy right now, but it's something that I've always been really fond of because I think it's very flattering on the waistline and it also creates visual interest towards your pants because there's a little bit of that pleating action happening at the front. The paper bag waist also sits a little bit higher on the waist, so it's not like low fitting denim, which can look a little youthful. This one looks a lot more sophisticated and put together. This one from Zara does come with the belt and I can see there's actually already a little bit of fraying here, but the belt is pleather. It's not real leather. <laughs> Let's just uh, put the hanger away for a second. These one, oh my God, these were expensive. Okay, these ones cost $79.90. For Zara, in my opinion, that is expensive. And I got mine in a size small. They are a slightly oversized fit. So if you cinch the belt, then you'll get more of that paper bag waist action happening, which I'm totally a fan of anyway. So this one is a cropped leg and it is a wide leg as well. You have two pockets in the front and then two pockets in the back. And they're supremely comfortable. The coat is also from Zara and this is one that I have been loving a lot this season. And if you go through my Instagram or even my blog, you might see it one too many times. This one cost about $219 and it has the big patch pockets in the front so you can fit your mittens in there, your hat if you want, you could fit your phone in there comfortably. It has a wider arm and it is cuffed. It's also a longer length which is why I've been liking it so much because I think it makes every outfit, even sweatpants and a sweatshirt, look a lot more sophisticated and it's got two big slits on the side. It is belted. There are no buttons on this one and it's pretty warm although as we get into winter into like the dead of winter let's say january february i probably won't be wearing this coat when it gets too cold because it's not going to keep me warm it's a lighter material so it's good for that in between weather and this one is made of 44 percent wool 33 percent polyester and 23 percent viscose and then for my shoes with this outfit i decided to go with a pair of black loafers and not just any black loafers these are my isabel morant loafers they say half awake in the front and they have an eye this is called the fezzy loafer i believe and i actually picked these ones up in new york back in 2018 and i was looking for these all over the place walked into the isabel morant store in soho and they were the last ones 
in my size and they happen to be on sale. I bought them without hesitating for a second. What's great about these is that the leather is extremely soft but it also has that ability to fold down at the back or you could wear it as a full loafer which is really excellent but usually I'll just fold these down and they're super super comfortable if you guys have been wondering about Isabel Morant shoes I would highly recommend them I have quite a few pairs in my collection and these are probably my favorite because they're so special and they do have a lot of gold detailing on them but that doesn't necessarily deter me from mixing it with the silver hardware from the belt or the silver hardware from my bag because if you look at my jewelry often I'll be mixing silver and gold together anyway so I feel like that just kind of matches my aesthetic if you guys are all into silver or all into gold then you know do whatever makes you happy but for me it doesn't bother me the handbag in this outfit is my Loewe tan puzzle I did review this bag in a previous video so I'll be sure to link it up here and you guys can go and watch that if you want. But this bag just makes every outfit look so much more sophisticated. This bag is so iconic in my eyes. It is such a great one because you can fit a lot in it. The leather is so durable as well and if you guys can find them pre-loved I would highly recommend it because the price has gone up recently and the cost of this bag is astronomical now in my opinion. So that is outfit number one. You'll see that I'm often mixing things like black, tan, gold, and silver. Again, it doesn't bother me one bit to do that because the majority of the outfit is within the winter whites, creams, and nudes. Then everything gets pulled together really nicely and I don't have to overthink about being too matchy-matchy either, which is not something that I typically go for if my outfit becomes too matchy. Try to take something away and then add in a little bit of contrast because that's my aesthetic. It's my personal style. This next outfit here is really casual and I am wearing a pair of wool Stella McCartney pants. My Valier crew neck sweater again. And then my favorite piece from this outfit is my Saint Laurent jacket. This moto jacket I actually picked up at the Toronto Premium Outlet for a steal. I think this jacket is originally $6,000 which is very outrageous. I picked up mine for about $1,500 I want to say. There was a sale happening and I was able to take full advantage of it. So it is leather and it looks like it's completely worn out at the edges which I love. Silver hardware. And at the back it says Saint Laurent. It has the lips and it's got the X across the cigarette for no smoking and this piece is really special to me for two reasons number one as a freelancer sometimes I'm able to work with some really great clients and I bought it for myself to kind of celebrate that because I landed a really good contract secondly my father used to smoke when I was younger and I actually got him to quit smoking so I feel like this to me is so special for those reasons the whole rock and roll chic thing is just something that I still love in my personal style so this jacket is the standout piece in this outfit. So these pants are Stella McCartney and they are wool trousers. I picked these up at Winners and they were on sale for $115. So if you guys are familiar with the Stella McCartney brand, you'll know that these pants would usually be about four or $500. So the fact that I was able to pick them up on sale for less than what I would buy a pair of pants for at Aritzia is phenomenal to me so I'm always looking for a good deal and I would rather pay a little bit more for something designer on sale than go to Aritzia and pay for a $200 pant that I might get sick of later. It's a tab front, it is flat in the front as well. We've got the side slant pockets and there's no pockets in the back so I have worn it with everything from sweatshirts to blazers, running shoes, dress shoes, it just looks phenomenal with everything. This is one of the best scores that I have ever found at Winners. And the bag that I'm rocking in that outfit is this medium bizarre tote. This one is from Balenciaga. And since we're talking about picking up things on sale, the original price of this bag is $3,000, I think. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, or maybe it's even like 2600 but I picked this one up for about 1100 
at the end of the season sale at Essence.com, which is based out of Montreal. They are one of my favorite places to shop at. This bag is awesome. It is one that I've always admired. I've seen it a lot on street style kind of photos and I thought it was really cool. The fact that this one is in black and white and gray is excellent because it means that it goes with my wardrobe so much more than the orange, blue, red ones that we've seen in the street style photos. So I can travel with it. I've worn it to New York and it's been really good. I can put my laptop in there, change of clothes if I need to, have my lunch. So this is such a good bag. So that is why I put together this super casual look. All of my essentials are in this bag. In my next outfit, I'm actually wearing the same Stella McCartney pants as before because they are such a good basic. And then underneath, I'm wearing just a very simple essentials top and that one is also from essence.com. The blazer is Zara from a couple of seasons ago and this one is in an extra small. If I was to buy this today, I would definitely buy it in a size small because it is more of a snug fit. But this outfit to me is very much inspired by one of the looks that the Olsen twins wore where they had a navy blazer, a black pant, and a white shoe. I just love that look. I think that it's really casual, it's really chic, but at the same time it looks like they're going somewhere important, perhaps to a meeting or something like that. They definitely look like they have it together. That's kind of what I was going for here. It's just a very smart and casual outfit. For the bag, I decided to go with my Louis Vuitton bum bag and just kind of sling it around the front because I didn't want the outfit to be too precious or too perfect. I think that this brings it back down to the sneakers where it looks a little bit more street style e in my opinion. I did do a full review on this bag. If you guys are interested, make sure that you check it out. I will leave a little indicator card for you up here or I'll leave it linked down for you below as well. This is such a good bag. So my final outfit actually features another sweater by Villiers and this is a knit that they recently sent me. Actually they sent me that one as well so thank you so much Villiers. This one is cool because it's got that zip up mock in the front so I could do the oh my god my hair just got caught in it. Okay 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 we're good we're good. So this is great because when it gets really cold I could just zip it all the way to the top or if I want like super chic look all I have to do is just have it open and then you can see all my jewelry there which is really great or I could even I could even tuck my hair in to the sweater a la Phoebe Philo it's very much her jam but look at how much hair I have it just like bolts out at the back Anyway, this sweater is ridiculously soft, as is the other one that they sent me. It's really nice. They are more on the high-end side, but I think it's totally worth it if you're going to have knitwear in your collection that isn't going to shed hairs all over your clothes and that is going to last you for a long time. So I am really, really impressed with this sweater. And because my style is more edgy, I decided to dress it up with probably my favorite trousers in my collection. These ones are my leather trousers from Revolve. They are from Lovers and Friends and they sent these to me last year or the year before. I have worn these so much. I have worn these to so many events. I have traveled with them everywhere. And after owning a few pairs of leather trousers, leather skirts, I can tell you that out of all of them, these are my favorite. Again, you have that paper bag front, which is really excellent. It has the belt loops, slant side pockets, which is nice. It comes with the little belt, which in my opinion, it's, it's a little meh, but I, I'm not really a belt person, so I don't really know what to change it out with, so I just kind of leave it there. It's really cute either way. These pants were a little bit long on me originally and I wanted them to be more cropped so I actually took them to my seamstress and she hemmed them for me and they do have a lining and she hemmed the lining as well so they come lined. If you guys are looking at taking your wardrobe up to the next level I highly recommend looking at a pair of leather trousers like these because it is a game changer. You can wear just a sweatshirt or a blazer and a t-shirt and you will always look very put together with leather trousers. 
The jacket that I'm wearing with this outfit is a new one. It's long. It almost reminds me of the kind of coat that you would wear if you were going to the opera. This one says it's made out of premium quality fabrics. It said that they source these materials from an Italian mill that produces the finest luxury textiles. This one is $259. I got mine in a size small. I think for $259, it is a really decent price. And I'll just tell you the material in a second. 75% wool and 25% polyamide, I think is how you say it. I actually have to put this down because this coat is really, really heavy. I'm about five, four, I would say, and this hits me right at the ankles, which is really excellent. It's such a beautiful coat and I actually haven't worn it out yet because I was contemplating maybe even sizing up to the medium, but I think that this small fits me really nicely, especially on the shoulders. And this one does not have a zipper or a button in the front. It's just like a front open kind of coat. And then for contrast in this outfit, I decided to go with my Loewe puzzle bag yet again because I have black and gray and I think adding a little bit of brown is sometimes just really nice and spruces up the outfit. And then for the shoes in this outfit, I decided to go with another Isabel Morant loafer. These are also the Fezzi loafer. It's very much structured in comparison to the other one that I have from my earlier outfit, but they're both called the Fezzi loafers. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that I got these on Essence.com. I really like them because it's very much a traditional loafer, which I'm a very big fan of, but obviously it has that really cool nail head detailing in silver all throughout, and it just kind of spruces up a very basic classic item. So <laughs> again, I love Isabelle Marant shoes. This is a great loafer. It's extremely comfortable. This one, I think I paid maybe two or $300 for it. I did pick them up on sale at the end of the season. That is often when I shop, by the way, at the end of season, just so I can save money because I used to pay full price on my shoes and then I found out stuff would go on sale and I would get really upset. So now I'll just be very strategic about what I buy on sale versus what I pay full price for. So. All right guys, so that is everything that I will be wearing this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and it inspires your future outfits. Everything that I'm mentioning in this video is pretty current collection with exception of some of my accessories, but I'll make sure that I leave everything down in the links for you below, including all the Zara pieces that I'm wearing here. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys will give this a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this because I always do these for my blog, but I've never done this for my YouTube channel. I thought it would be really fun to do something a little different. Thank you for watching again. I said that already three times. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I almost forgot to mention my glasses. Okay, these ones, really quick. These ones are by Celine. I picked these ones up in the beginning of the year. I think you can still find them online. I'll make sure that I put the style number down below for you guys. And then the sunglasses, these ones are from Ray-Ban. When you find good sunglasses, it makes an outfit just like come to life. Okay. For real, that's it. Bye.